Okay, you are fanatics. Hopefully you've already heard the news about Kobe Bryant. This video will be dedicated to him. Um, one of the greatest to ever do it. I'm, I'm going to add a loss for words, guys. So this video is dedicated to Kobe Bean Bryant. Born 1978. Died 2000. Okay, you are fanatics. Look, I'm here at home, not Home Depot, I'm here at Lowe's. I'm gonna run in here and we're gonna try to get some uh, pre-emergent. And the reason I'm at Lowe's is because Lowe's right now in my area, region, um, is the only one that sells the Sunnyland pre-emergent. And I wanna get the Sunnyland because it has that thigh up here in it, which is a pre-emergent and a post-emergent. Walk across the street, don't wanna get hit. So let's go in here and see if they got it. Okay, you are fanatics here at Lowe's, and I found the uh, Sunnyland Professional Fire Grass Pre Emergent. Covers up to 20,000 square feet. All right, and the price is $24.98. Now, like I said, <clears throat> Lowe's is the only place I know that sells this, and here's the other products of theirs. There's the uh, the weed and feed, the 2006, price $33.98. Um, if you buy it in bulk, of course, you'll save a little bit more money when you buy 10 or more. And then you got the 24011. Like I said, for the square footage, best value you probably can get. But right now, we're here to pick up the uh, 007 pre emergent. Okay, you are fanatics. We picked up a couple of bags of uh, pre-emergent, and like I said, there are many other choices. Um, I'm gonna try to stick with this sunny land this year and see what kind of results we get. So let's let's get back to the house and do an application. Okay, you are fanatics. So hopefully, you've already got your pre-emergent, and th let me explain to you the reason I'm I'm telling you to get your pre-emergent, still put it down regardless if you have weeds growing or not. Um, if you did do the two-part plan like I did, I put my pre-emergent down first, then I came back and I treated the um, lawn for weeds. I did the granular preen and also sprayed it with uh, Image Herbicide Red Label. That combo should get those weeds under control. Now, some of you guys are saying, well, why should I put down pre-emergent if the weeds have already emerged one of the issues with this crazy up and down weather is that all of the weeds may not have emerged yet there are certain weeds that emerge at certain time poor is one of the ones that come out it starts to germinate as soon as it get a tad bit cold um you won't see it but it it, it, it burst out the ground early this year um around january now last year i didn't really see it until around in mid February, but this year it's out. I'm seeing those white seeds, so you don't really know what's underground, in other words. 
So if you're going to go with that, that um, like I said, it's a non-sponsored video, but if you're going to go with that Sunnyland Professional Crabgrass Preventer with a dithiopyr in it, that's going to help prevent uh, crabgrass and maybe catch some of the baby crabgrass if it comes up. Um, you can apply this up to three to actually four times a year. Now, I always tell you guys, read your instructions and read the bag. Now, this bag says don't apply no more than 20 pounds uh, per 1,000 square feet annually. So if you're following directions and you're applying it with a Scott's um, edge guard and you set it on four, you should be putting, putting out, if I'm not mistaken, you guys check my math, roughly 4.6, uh, almost five pounds per 1,000 square feet. All right. So let's just do the math. If you did that four times a season, at the, the the amount that they had and i think it was and let me let me look at it real quick guys yeah it's it's four point it's four point nine pounds per one thousand square feet um if you set it on the um setting that they have with the scott's edge guard deluxe and, and i'm looking at the bag and it says four so if you did it three times a year you don't have to worry about over applying that product okay um now i actually hit mine um mid january so january with february march april i'll probably april between april mid may so around i'll come back and hit it again just to make sure because i'm going with granular now if you if you use prodiamine and you go max like i did on my backyard which is a 0.83 per 1000 square feet they're basically saying that i cannot reapply that product for 12 months now it may not last 12 months probably won't last for probably eight or nine in the ground um, I got real good coverage with it this year, and actually, I'm an experiment. I'm riding. I'm gonna apply this this um, this granular pre-emergent on top of that at a lower rate, and I just want to see the response. What could possibly happen? Possibly a slower green up. Okay, it's Bermuda grass, so it'll bounce back. Guys, if you have any any other type of grass, please check your grass type to make sure that any product you buy works with it and like i said it's, it's a sad moment guys i know i didn't show you how to apply it, but if you look in this corner right here there is a link of a full tutorial showing you how to apply the sunny land 007 crabgrass preventer uh, pre-emergent control all right so check that out and, and and it'll show you everything that you need to know like i said it's a sad moment guys uh, really not up to filming this, but I still got to get this content out to you guys. All right. So just remember one thing, guys. You're tuned into Bermuda Grass Central with BYD. This is Michael Bowman, and I'll talk to you soon.